Hello, Minnesota whiskey fanatics. It is day seven, end of the first week. Uh, today is my day. We have the Obtanium series, so this is my own product line. Uh, I thought that it would be really, really cool to get you guys something that isn't yet available in Minnesota. This is available currently in Iowa, Illinois, and Wisconsin. It'll soon be coming to Minnesota, uh, somewhere in the $35 to $40 range. Um, a little bit of info about Obtanium. We are an independent bottler, like I was talking about yesterday. Uh, Scotch independent bottlers have been bottling um, barrels from distilleries all across Scotland for um, over 100 years. And I am one of the few people in the United States that is doing that with American Spirits. Uh, we're limited in that a lot of the distilleries don't like to disclose their names. So that is a little bit of a difference between us and a uh, Scotch independent bottler. But the goal is, uh, for our brand standpoint, is to find unique barrels from across the country and across the world, get a hold of them, bottle them in single barrel, barrel proof, and release them to you guys to enjoy. So this one has a pretty unique story. This is a Kentucky corn whiskey, or you can call it uh, legally used barrel bourbon. Uh, so it'd be uh, bourbon, no, 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 it would be whiskey distilled from a bourbon mash. That's a TTB designation. Um, cool story about this, Claremont, Kentucky, bring this in, shares a little bit with uh, this and where they were distilled. But uh, this is what happens when you dump bourbon barrels, you have the empty barrels, and then you decide to fill them with uh, 80 corn, 11 rye, and nine malted barley um, mash bill. This is six years old, single barrel, barrel proof. It's around 122 proof. Um, and let's dig in. This stuff is uh, pretty unique. When I first looked at it, uh, obviously color is pretty light, but with a corn whiskey, that's what you're going to expect because of the used barrel. Hmm. For me, this is what happens when uh, you let mellow corn age more. Hmm. Dusty, corny, vanilla. It's got a good bit of spice to it. I think it's pretty special stuff, especially at the price point. What I'm going to do um, today is if anybody has a question about our product line, <clears throat> about any of our products, comment here or comment on the Facebook and I'll try to answer all the questions. Um, I really do like this stuff. Um, like I said, it was pretty special at the price point and I really wanted to have the uh, lowest or the best value in barrel proof single barrel whiskey on the market and this whiskey happened to be it. So I hope everybody enjoys it. Like I said, I'll answer any questions. If anybody wants to know what we're going to do in the future, there's quite a bit on our list. Uh, old Canadians we're looking into. We have secured two 14 year Canadian whiskey barrels that are not from Alberta. We recently got um, a, an option to purchase some 14 and 18 year used barrel bourbon, very similar to this, except with a mash bill from this. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, pretty special stuff and I'm really interested in uh, getting to try that soon so should be a hit and hopefully I'll be able to purchase that and release it to you guys um, but again if anybody has questions uh, feel free to ask uh, if anybody wants to know what we're doing in the future uh, feel free to ask and uh, that's it thank you again